All right, all right, we live. It's marvelous Sunday. This should be out next week. Pour up my tea real quick. What up, what up, y'all? What's up, this voice is... How's it going, people? We're Where's back my, at it. Where's my team back? We was at uh, B-Boy <laughs> yesterday, and it said Drake Night, May 11. Uh-huh. You seen that yesterday? Yeah. You know what that means, right? When He's just gonna play it yep, Drake the entire yep. night? I'm not gonna lie, I'm actually a little interested in that. You for real? You don't fuck It's not like Drake's gonna be there. <laughs> no, but you have to... Could, I'm just gonna play no, all his music. I'm saying that because, yo, when you go to clubs, bro, like, it's like you hear... Yeah, but yeah, it's gonna be fucking annoying. Fucking just, all you hear is Drake. I like that. that. Damn, so you really are not a big fan. You've been telling me you're a big no, fan? No, I, I am a fan and he's dope, but like... Why, you, can't, you, you, you can't be a fan and say you're, you're gonna get annoyed. He's not a music. fan of none of these they're things. They're all Juicy J. All night, listen, Juicy J. Yo, if, Drake, they, if they it. played Wiz all night, I would not mind. Yeah, I would all. go there, man. You listen to the same artist all day? Yeah, you're gonna hear you know me, I can listen to the same song all day, yeah, bro. Yeah, but every I'm Oh damn! damn. Like if it's not their though. concert, if it's not a concert, like then, damn. No, I'm saying. Yeah, yeah, I, I do that too, but after all, I want to do a different song. I, bro, parties be like you could only be you could if you want you could only be in a party for two three hours. You could even leave in an hour. So it's up to you. You, you get bored, you leave. So I don't mind that. You, and you know, to me, then you meet people who like now the party. I want to be, be in one where they play Ye all night. I'm See, like, look I, at that. You will like that. Yo, but you no, know, Uzi, that would be a night. But you know what's another dope or thing? Drink or drink this all night, man. <laughs> hell, hell no. No, but yo, you know what? What's dope? You got your bro, nose on, white boy. You you meet people who like the same artists as you. Yo, you're gonna vibe. Like it. I wanna look, go to a club. Ski, man. Hold up, go to a club where you like you don't just you don't know what to connect with people about, and then go to a club where they're playing your, your favorite artist. Yo, it's so easy to connect. Oh, you like him? Oh, you mm -hmm. like that song? Oh yeah, yo, remember this song? Yo, it's an easy icebreaker. Yo, mm -hmm. easy. That's another reason I said that. Yo, you guys know about those uh, parties where they wear those headphones? VR. They wear headphones and they don't even like everyone wears headphones and the DJ play and you could choose your station or something. What are those I've things heard called? About that. They've been around for a while. Her Liberty Side Center does that in Jersey City. You, you know, when I was like in high school and college, <laughs> I think mainly college. I, I used to say I'm tired a lot. I'm tired. Oh, I'm Boston tired. Nuts, like, right? It was like part of my regular talk. I'm tired. And then one time, literally, I got tired of saying I'm fucking tired. I was like, yo. Why the fuck I keep saying that? Because one time I called myself, I wasn't even tired. Like, and I said it. You, you, you know when you're bored and you're just like, tired I'm yeah. tired. You should be on that career that like, oh, I'm tired of doing this. Job. Oh, yeah, yeah, right? No, but then I'm like, yo. That's probably because you wasn't a senior or not. Like, I wasn't, no, but that's not even it. I, like, Maybe it's just now, you, you get tired. Now, not, tired. not on some strict shit, but I watch what I say now. I watch my like stuff I'm saying. I'm like, mm -hmm. I don't like to just, like, my dad always said this too. Like, Papa, he says, like, don't just say stuff. Don't just talk. All the time talking, uh, and, and and like, cause when you just talk, it's like I heard it's even bad. It's like not, cause then you gotta shut up. I know, I know, you don't even talk a lot either. I can, I can see you in a house not talking for a while. Like me, I'm, I, I talk a lot. Happened. I talk a lot. Like I'll be yelling there in the but house, singing, be, screaming. You want to talk in silence? Wait, wait, but where is he? No, no. Man, no even you, you, mean, you, even you be blurring stuff out too. That's true. What do you mean? You're not a side. You're not a person that sits there silent either. Like, you can go crazy. Know. Of course, yeah. That's when the Sometimes 80s, you need that's that, when yo. The 80s rolled in. And and you're no saying, but so what I'm trying to say is your regular talk. If you're always like, man, I'm tired. Oh, I get what you mean. Don't Another put the words like that out. Yeah. yeah and then it, like and you'll notice you you'll feel tired. Yeah, almost feel uh -huh. like manifested. Basically, it's like a man. Not only that, it's like your body listens to your mind. So your what, about like, what about the thing yeah. people talk with it? Like they say, you think something in mind will happen in real life. What? Or something like they say, if you think something in mind, so exactly mind already your, happened. your mind controls your body. Yeah. Yep. So now when you're saying I'm tired, now your body's like, oh, we're tired now? Okay, bet. Let's 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 kick in some tired shit. I don't yeah, know, like put you to sleep. The tired button. Yeah. yeah, let's do that. So I, I started watching myself with that, man. Exactly. Yo, so um, last week we talked about the Drake and Rick Ross beef. And um, in the election. We came to a conclusion. What was the conclusion we came to? About what? Did Drake say, and Rick Ross beef. You said you like Rick Ross more. You said me, I saw you liking it too. Yeah, boy, I like Eminem out of all the Eminem destroy these. But it's days. oh boy. <laughs> I, I like Hendrick, bro. And we also boy. covered um just letting people know leftists, rightists, you know, a little bit about politics. Cause remember, they don't want you to care or know about politics. They love when people say, Man, fuck that, I'm not, I'm not into that. But go check it out, it's out right now. It's episode two. 
and you can see the title. So today's episode, we have a few topics here. I gotta get some more tea in my system, you know. Anytime I gotta start like a project or something, but especially in the morning. To get you going. To get me going, tea is great. Tea. The tea. Chai, chai obviously, but I haven't been able to get like authentic chai out here. What's your thing? Uh, I, I like milkshakes uh, a lot. I guess you're going in the yeah, morning. Milkshakes Cheetos. Get me going. What gets you going, morning? Cheetos. No, what gets you going in the morning? Cheetos. So you just wake up energetic. Yeah. You just you don't need, you don't need nothing to get you. St- no, sometimes yeah, like I need like a drink. I feel like de- like dehydrated a little. Like so water. So, like cold, so you're cool with just drink water. Okay, so, so okay, like so a cold drink or juice or something. Juice. Okay, okay. Yeah. All right, all right. So water gets more going in the morning. All right, all right wait, wait. Hey, hey man, that, that's healthy. Huh? Me is tea because it's soothing. Man, it's just yeah, he's good. Get, it mellows me out, chills me out. Then I get to work. You know what I mean? I get to go in what I do. I'm not a coffee drinker, yo. What, what do you guys? No, what's, what's your th- yeah, take on coffee? I'm more big on tea than coffee. The, that's just like a whole crash. You really do. You feel that for real mm-hmm. at the end of it. Yo, it gives me a stomach ache. Yeah, it and I can't have it right when I wake up. Yeah. I don't know how the fuck people wake up and go straight it, for coffee. Those people, but I know I'm saying I can't wake up out of my bed. And then I, I need it, if I am gonna have coffee, probably two hours into my day. Yeah, two hours. Eggs. Oh yeah, right. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, milkshakes and, and energy drinks is, is oh. what gets me going in the morning. Rain. So you'll have a Red Bull in the morning? Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, he would. Yeah. Nah. Yeah. Nah, I'm <laughs> sure they already nah. <laughs> It gives you like energy. Yeah. That will start me off. Okay. Uh, um, one will give you like I've tried it. It gives you like some energy, <coughs> but you like, you start going crazy. Like, like you start feeling like some drunk. I have a very, that's why I, I, very I, I interesting to, He said take it easy. Nah, nah, yeah. That's why I tell Moy because Moy's younger. He does, he, like Moy. Oh, don't fuck with energy drinks. Like don't fuck with it like that. You I was, know what t- mean? I was like, trying like, to get little. All right, so today we're gonna speak about Xi Jinping. Xi Jinping. Is a Chinese politician who has been the general secretary of the Chinese Communist Party. And um, the reason I want to talk about him is I heard that he recently ended the one child policy six years ago. Why am I saying recently? Well, I believe 2016. Now, what I found it odd, and first of all, if you guys don't know, right? If you people don't know, Xi Jinping or China is they had this one child policy for the longest. And it says here. <coughs> September 25, 1980 is often cited as the official start of China's one-child policy. Although attempts to curb the number of ch- children in a family existed prior to that, birth control and family planning had been promoted ni- from 1949. So 1980, the one-child policy was Came implemented in China. Okay. Wow. Dang. That means if you had... Now, what happens if you have more than one child? I know, I know there's penalties. They kill them or like... They gotta be something like that. So also, it's from uh, when it got changed, it became um, replaced by a three-child policy. Oh no, you could have three now. But but the fact what that they're mean, controlling you can't people, tell people about so they do, they, want. they do that. They do that. They said oh, so it's w- what is the reason? Because about China that? is so heavily that's populated. Something. They say China. Oh look, this was my. Okay, so it was the primary source. The open letter to the members of the Chinese Communist Party and the Communist Youth League advocating one child per. What is the reason? That's what I want to know. What is the reason? You know, the reason is because China is so populated. I know that, but I want to know, like, you, th- is it really like that o- simple? Isn't is there it really over that like straightforward? one billion people in China? People can't even walk oh, normally boy, yeah. in China. What was the reason for the one-child policy in China? That- Yo, this, this speaker shit to write your shit? I was so against this for the longest. I was like, why the fuck are people pressing the mic so and speaking easy. into it? Yo, it makes it easy, especially text messages. Do I click it? Yo, yeah. bro, I'm right outside. If you don't want to write. All right, let's get straight to it. One Child Policy official program initiated in the late 1970s and early 80s by the central government of China, the purpose of which was to limit the great majority of family units in the country to one child each. The rationale for implementing the policy was to reduce the great was to reduce the growth rate of China's enormous population, as you said. Yeah. So wow, just straightforward, just like that. Wow. What happens if you have? So what happens if you have one more child? So it said the aim was to curtail population growth, right? As we said, perhaps to 1.1 billion and certainly to 1.2 billion by the year 2000. So basically, they're trying to depopulate, like kill them. Like, I don't know. That goes on a lot of places. Well, no, no, no. I don't know if they was trying to kill them because they're not even letting them have the kid. So it's yeah, like, you can't, there's nothing to kill. Like abortion? You're, no, they're not even allowing them to have oh. it in the first place. Dang. 
It was hoped that the third, the third and higher. Like order. Google said. That is how. Yeah. It says previously the fine called a social upbringing fee or social maintenance fee was the punishment for the families having more than one child. So uh, there is obviously a punishment. There was a fine. Fee. That sounds so like like, wow, it, like, like it's something you tell someone when, how many kids. Straightforward. This is straightforward. Check this out. If the couple <clears throat> is unable to pay the fine, so they so they get a fine. By the way, they may lose their jobs, their land. Livestock confiscated, oh, their home destroyed, their children denied the rights and benefits of the state, like education, or their child taken away. No, that's fucked Whoa. up. No, that, Whoa. They're doing like too yeah, much. That's a lot. Like, yeah, that's okay, but that's, yeah, like that's, 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 that's a lot. Rules, but to be honest, I thought uh, 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 that um, if you still you know went against the rules and, and had uh, you know uh, more than one child, uh, I honestly think that. You know the the child after that and after that and after that would would, would have gotten killed. Yeah, that, that's yeah. what I thought they would have done. Yeah. What do you mean? They wouldn't do like that. Like like if you uh, um if they broke the rules. So they would kill the children. Uh, of having you know the, mm-hmm. the, the, the more uh you know of, of the one child policy. Mm-hmm. But they any know. children after that one child, I yeah. thought you know those children would they, get they, killed. They know they will get exposed. Yeah, yeah, I they thought they would that, kill them. They know they'll be like exposed for all them. Yeah, but then that would start like a that's whole, start a war whole, or something. Yeah, that would start like a whole war within the country itself. Yeah. So yeah, that's and that's, tough. that's why I have rules like that. So how's the Palestine sauce? This is what it is. No, it's cold. He's, he's saying that. I don't want to pronounce that. I'm about to say because this don't taste like it tastes like a normal sauce. Oh, no, that's kind. this barbecue right here. It's poly poly. I don't want to say Polynesian or something. Polynesian. Polynesian. <laughs> He said Palestine. We got sauce. exotic sauces out here. Exotic sauce, mad love sauces on deck. That's fucking wild, bro. Yeah. For having a kid? China's like, they're, they're, they're controlling though. Hold on, I'm they're, trying they're to like, like really controlling I'm trying to get place. this in my brain now. Um, you could only, but this, this was the past, but the fact that it ever existed. So wait, it was implemented in 1980s, late 1970s? No, it makes sense though that it, it eventually existed. No, I know. I mean, it did. But I'm saying from 1970s yeah, late right. all the way to 2016. It's not right at all. Yo, how, that, how many years is that? That's a, that's a lot of years. And first to be that. 1970 to, to go 2030 on, years. First to go on for that long though. That's big Almost 50 girl. years? 40 something? Damn. What if you just wanted to have a big family, bro? That's China's like they're like very weird. Cause China, China is they're an weird. exception, man. Cause China is different, man. Bro, what if you clap and no fucking rubber? They have, and shit? They're making their own straight up, bro. It's and you up. don't believe in abortion, so you're like, yo, we gotta keep it. You're like, we can't. Mm-hmm. They're not gonna get an education. You you're like, yo, YouTube. At that point, you gotta man. hide the child. You, you gotta hide your child, bro. Yo, yo kangaroo up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Stop, <laughs> yo. Yeah. Hide your child. Gotta hide your child. Gotta hide your. your, your it, 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 in America, we had no child left behind. Over there, like, bro, no more child fucking. We don't even want no more than one. <laughs> but, like I said, now you can have, I think they're, they're like, you could have three now. Like it's a number Still controlling people, though. I'm telling them. Three? So what's so what's the purpose of Yo, what's this? good with you, Ji Ji Ping? What's good with you, Ji? Ji Jing Bang. Ji Jing Bang. So it says, by the turn of the new century, China's fertility was well below the replacement level, and China began to face the mounting pressures associated with continued low fertility. So now there's this new thing going on, yeah, recently, that um, if you have more than one kid, I believe, mm-hmm. then uh, the, the the government will uh, will start to, like your they, no, they will start to pay you for for. Oh yeah! For having uh, more than one child. They want you to have more child. So now they want you to have more children. Now this is what I don't understand. In the beginning, yeah, you know they were trying to cut off children, and now what? Well, the process is reversed. So what exactly is going on with that? Because now, now I don't understand. Pay you? So what's like, the, that doesn't make that's right. That's kind of so like, they will pay you now mysterious. to have more children. Like what? Is, what is the purpose of this now? Like you why is the process think, reversed? Bro, they, you know what? They, bro, have you seen those videos? Like even team was a perfect example. They use those kids to work in like factories, you know, right? Sometimes, oh, yeah, yeah. Like mad young, working their like asses off. Also, it says something like it bought China at a risk of an aging issue. They said it was. I think what they're trying to say is it was too many old people and very less young people. Ah. Uh. And oh, that's 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 what they mean by the fertility. That's probably what they mean, cause like what old people can't like. So they don't want they don't, they want more young. Oh, people. you think it, uh, 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 an imbalance has happened over the yep, years? Yep, yep. Since the since I mean that's the, been like what forty plus years since the original policy came into mm-hmm. effect, where, where you, you couldn't have more than one child. So when that policy came into effect, all those years 
you know, it was the same people in in, in that country, like no new people being born. Mm -hmm. So then uh, everyone just became like, you well, know, like, like, like old, old, way, old. They let them actually have it. We're more old people. We all know the youth is the future. And if you don't have a, a, a big youth, then what uh -huh. the fuck do you have? You have yeah. no future. Well, you just have all old people. That's it. That's yeah, yeah, that, that's, not, that, yeah, that's not uh, smart either. I did hear an interesting fact. They said that you could um, take the world's all the world's population and you could put it in texas you could put everyone in the world in texas they won't be comfortable though they might be like next to each other and That's everyone fine. in the world can fit in texas they said and i'm gonna check this right now to tell you and i was like what if you look at the map on texas it makes sense look how big it looks it's big but the world is huge but, nigga, it'll be but big look you know it'll why? be big and tight and compact yes believe no it. but no, the thing is I you know like why it's believable maybe but it'll be really tight yeah that'll yeah be, you know really why tight. it's believable First yeah, of all, Texas is, Texas is a big ass state, it is, so yo. it's one of the biggest states. A but state. the thing is, when you take a closer look at the world, yo, there's a lot of open land where there's, no one lives. There's, 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 there's a lot there's, of green, yeah, water. There's, That's there's. the reason why it's believable. Oh, this mm. Texas has a Not lot everywhere you look on the map is gonna be fucking uh, filled with people. You, no, no, there are places yeah. where there's that no is, one. It's gonna be crowded, like New York. So that's why it makes sense. You're gonna be able to walk. It'll be like yeah, it'll be tight. I'm sure it'll be tight as hell. And no one's gonna want that. It but that's interesting. That is pretty. That is very that's interesting. Crazy yeah. too. And Texas is huge. And there was another one too. It was not only Texas. It was another place. It was two places. They said they could fit them all in Texas, and I think the other one was Australia or something. Uh huh. So the one-child policy officially ended on January first, twenty sixteen. The twenty sixteen was a beautiful year, and out of all years that that happened, it's like wow. Okay. With the signing into the lobby, allowing married couples to have a second child, they tend to cope with the age. Yeah, so it just comes down to they were they were attempting to cope with an aging population uh -huh. and shrinking workforce because old people can't work forever. Oh, exactly. They need right? they, they need younger people. Yeah, that's it. To enter the workforce. They're, they're, like, saying, oh, shit, look, they're saying this: No, Texas is about 117 million acres, and Earth's population is 7.4 billion. Now you could Speaking get everyone nice half you could give acre everyone in Texas. Nice half acre in Texas in theory. So it says in theory you could give everyone oh then in the US half an acre in Texas. You could in theory house the entire population of the earth into Texas at a population density of twenty seven thousand people per square mile. But then look at this. So they're look. gonna have no room. That's now look for at sure. the, how many people can you do for in Texas? Seven billion. <laughs> That is wild, yo. Shout out Texas, by the way, man. Look, <laughs> an entire world could fit Texas in a lot of the same effect as New York. Square feet of living space as in New York City. So what you said, yeah. we're like, it'll be like New York. It'll be like tight. And like yo, that's crazy, bro. Shit, that'll be too annoying. These kind of facts. Oh, I got another one. Yo, I always thought this low key. And I think this about the moon, too. And I know you, we all have these weird thoughts. We, we call them weird because they're not normal. Right? We go to school, we learn facts, we learn this, that, science, geography. And we're like, oh, I guess <coughs> this is the truth now, okay? But you guys cannot tell me, and you too listening, that you didn't question things like... I heard this on a podcast. I think it was Eddie Bravo said it, or someone that was with him that said, do you really fucking think the sun is 90, what is it, million miles away, something like that? They're like, how the fuck can we even know that? And they say and they say this okay they they got their instruments they checked it out right it actually right maybe not but if it was really that close to earth it would be burning hot right? that is true too but i like what he said he's like yo i don't believe in anything that i can't fact check myself like i can't well, go yeah. and check so you're gonna he's like people are telling you these things right oh yeah this is this space is this but it's, it's, what, what, what can we do to disapprove how can we even check it how the fuck are we gonna go to space and check it yeah, so it's like we're forced to just accept it that's what I'm saying a lot of stuff that we grew up learning we can't even check it motherfuckers like, like Bro, people made yeah. a big deal out of checking the subway sandwich someone sued subway because oh, yeah. they said the shit ain't a foot see Bro, we could check yeah, that though but how the fuck can we check the sun a lot of people sun? say that the space is not real hard people I've heard that yeah. I don't know if we want to start that huge topic yeah, I don't think like, one is no, way. Gonna, come on Elon Musk then Elon Musk can go oh, oh. <laughs> right <laughs> no but check this out yo, yo don't you guys think about the sun is it really that fucking far Bro, that shit looks sometimes like I understand if it was too, if it was very close to a burner. Yeah, that's why. But is sense. it really that far it was really, though? If it was close, I no, think no, no. But it is it as far as they say, ninety million miles. Mm -hmm. How the miles? fuck you guys even knew yeah, that? But if you, how the fuck when people knew that? You can't really tell, but when when you stare, you could feel like mm -hmm. beaming on you. You could feel the it heat. But I'm like, yo, I, crazy, I don't yeah. think it's that far, yeah. yo. I don't think it's as far as they say. Now I'm coming. Now science people like, hold up, wait, 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 my my uh my degree. I read my, my science book, Tish, you stop now. Yeah. I went to school for this. 
I just maybe can't remember not, it because we don't retain million. shit yeah, we learned in school. Maybe it's not 90 million, but it's not right next to it. It has to be like a of course, little far out. No way, we'll burn to death. Yeah. But I don't, I don't, I don't. Well, I know they didn't the randomly estimate, come up with like it, but I don't believe it. I though. guess they came up with, you know, with that uh, the the, uh, theory like the by, I, you know, just, met, you know, uh, with instruments and stuff like that, you know, like, uh, data, you know, certain data that they took. I, yo, to I might sound stupid, I might sound stupid, but won't that... It, I don't know how the process works, but wouldn't the instruments melt? As a, if you're trying to like, yeah, if you're trying to like measure, closer you get to it, I don't think right, they right. wouldn't measure. But, but they find other ways, they right? Have satellites up there, whatever, really like, like, like something be too bright. If you exactly. Want, yeah, yeah. Too. If you see like the the, the document talking about Elon Musk, they had, they had like these satellites that were like made really strong. I believe, yeah. Yeah. Or they probably also do like yeah. I know you could measure things by like sometimes people can measure stuff it just seeing it in a picture too. Like they'll look at one well, distance from another yeah, they and then they'll that. like do some math shit and then they could like, oh yeah that's that that's from that far. Yeah yeah take yeah. it multiply do all this shit. Is there but algorithms. Are there any things that you that made you question maybe in the past or now that you're like, I don't know if that's true. Like some stuff we've been told growing up. We're like and you're like, ah I don't know about that. Something that you learned in school in the books, any subject, science, um, geography, and you were like, I don't know if that's true, yo. Because mm. I know there's many. Cause one, and think about it. I just realized this too. We're young as hell learning these things. Bro, our mind's not even developed. Nigga, we're going to accept everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who the fuck is going to... And shout out to the, 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 the younger... The, the, the kids in school, whether with us in the past or right now, that actually question things. Uh-huh. Cause yo, when you're little, bro, you just wanna have fun. Fuck you looking, wait, m- m- miss, I don't think the sun is that far. Yeah, I don't, yeah. think, I don't no, see no, a kid sir. doing that. I don't uh-huh. even see, like I've never done that. Shout you out to the ones that Pluto, do that. They say it was, it was a dwarf planet, it wasn't even real. What? Remember they said that, Pluto oh, wasn't real? Didn't they say Pluto's not a planet no more? Oh, you heard yeah, about that, Yeah, right? they eventually kicked Pluto out. Now all of a sudden, Pluto's remember, not a planet. They said Mars had life on there? You think that's true? Yeah, like I believe other true. planets have That's life interesting. Sure. I heard you can't just go; you'll burn. You know, far it's so. really hot there. All right, so, so Elon Musk will take. I, us I don't believe this God. shit. The distance from the Earth to the Sun is ninety-three million miles. Wow, I think Elon Musk has. Far. But so the distance of the there. furthest planet, Neptune, is nearly three billion miles. They even How the blue, fuck blue, they blue, know? Blue. No, because I guess they don't accept yeah, it as a planet no yeah, more. They go no love, yo. Sh- what happened? Damn, chill. Oh, maybe they don't accept it in our galaxy. Then Pluto wrong. Oh, maybe that's what they said. It's outside of our galaxy. Oh, Pluto's outside. We're the, the gal- Milky Way, the right? Milky Way galaxy. Yeah, I believe we are the Milky Way. But yeah, I don't believe it. Ninety-three miles away, and then you're telling me yeah. how the fuck y'all know, bro? I don't believe that shit, bro. Those kind of things I don't. Um, what yeah. else? What else is unbelievable? That you're like, I don't know, bro. I used to think clouds were. I, I actually no, I know I know how they're made now, but I remember when I was little, I think I used to think clouds were like they shot them out of something. Yeah. Uh-huh. And they made like uh-huh. you know how you see like cloud things come out of a factory like uh-huh. those. Yeah. I was like, Yo, I was like damn, they, like when I wouldn't see no clouds, I was like damn, they didn't shoot them shits in the sky today. <laughs> like when you, you know when you see the factory, you see the gas coming out. What is that shit called? It's yeah, gas, yeah, right? Yeah. And, and and you're like, when I first saw that, I'm like, oh shit, that's where the clouds are coming from, bro. When I was little, this house like, oh shit. Yeah. And when it was the clearest day, I'm like, yo, where the fuck they went? Uh-huh. They're just not here today and shit. I, I got one. UFOs. Oh, are they real? I don't want to make it about this because I feel like for that we need a whole oh, podcast, yeah, true, right? Yeah. Aliens, real? Uh-huh. Sit there yeah, and dead people dead. say, by the way, like th- that's made up. Aliens and UFOs are made up because they want people to believe in aliens, to scare so you. they can have a one-world government. Mm-hmm. This is a, this is another like conspiracy that's yeah. out there that space doesn't exist and aliens doesn't exist, but they made them both exist because you can't have aliens without space. Think about it. If space did, if space didn't exist, then how, where are you gonna yeah. say the aliens oh, came from? Yeah. That's why they say too. they tie in together. Yeah, I heard this one. Too. They, they don't even know if the Earth's flat or round. Oh, yeah, the Earth, the round Earth. Oh, so hold flat. on, let me ask Creed. You believe the Earth is round or flat? No, nah, I believe the Earth is flat. Wait, tell me, you're a flat Earther? Yeah. Why though? Tell me, how why? long have you been into this? That's what. And when did you get into this? See, that- so I became a flat Earther ever since you know the whole um controversy of it uh took place. It was like what 2000 like, you know like uh. Uh, 2018, 2019, uh-huh. or something. <clears throat> you know, it was like a few years back, or, yeah. or, or whatever. When they, when, you know, when they started talking about it, you know, all over like social media and stuff. Oh, do you believe the Earth is flat? Or do you believe the, Earth, you know, the Earth is I round? I do remember it was on social media. Exactly, it was a whole thing going on. Like it was trending. So then I, I was like, all right. So then I made a decision. I was like, all right. Uh, you know, I came up with, you know, with my own opinion. Why? I was like, all right, the Earth is flat. Cause what led you to that? that? That's uh, why. Let's hear him. Let's hear him. What led you to so that? So what led me to the, you know, to believe that the Earth is flat is because. You're any more sauce. When you keep when you keep driving like when you keep uh, like say you're you're in a car and you keep driving and driving, 
or, 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 or like when you're on a train, or, you know, or, or a bus, like you just keep it, it just keeps going straight, like flat. Like I don't, I don't see the round picture, you know, when it comes yeah. to the Earth. I don't, I, like I, I just don't see I don't it. I think we would never know. And I know there's a whole, you know, controversy it's like a about mysterious this. Serious thing to know. Come on. Exactly. So if the Earth is flat, oh, but, you, but you still believe it's around, it's round though, right? But you're saying it's like in the weird, like that. But you wouldn't, really, you, you know why you wouldn't really feel it because of gravity too. Yeah. That plays a big role. But I'm saying. But you still believe the Earth is. Wait, that, that, didn't, that didn't make sense. No, that that wouldn't make sense. Oh, no. Wait, so you believe the. So you don't even believe in circular planets? The biggest reason was because Mr. Sanger taught him that. Come on, so you believe it, in space is just like this? Some flat shit? Yeah, like it just keeps. Exactly, like it's flat. Like I don't. No, that wouldn't make sense. This doesn't make in sense space, to me, yo. It has to be yo, right. I don't know much about flat Earth theory at all to speak on it. But I was I went back then. Anytime someone went against something that was the norm, I, I was always like, hell yeah. But I, I, flat Earth was something I just it didn't catch my attention. I don't know, it just didn't. But I could see why people think it's flat. You just keep driving and shit, yeah. you know. But what I don't get is what it's just sitting in space. So you're so flat Earth people are saying unless flat Earth people believe there's no space either. But you said you do believe yeah. in space. Like the thing is like okay, okay, when you're like I don't know when you're traveling to a different country on a plane. Like, and when you're on a plane, like the plane, do you like do you see the, like the you know you uh, you, uh, you know uh, the plane going like a circular motion like like, like this, or do you see it, or, or or when you look out the window, you just see yeah, the plane, see, yo. you plane the plane just keeps going straight yeah. as if everything is flat, like I, yeah, that's like true, what, that is true. What it, so it's like straight, common yo, sense. It, you're it, saying. It like say straight, but actually, it, it, it turns like something. I know. Like look, like when it goes like so that, we're like so that. we're in North America. Now, if the plane now, if I wanted to go to like uh, uh, South America, which is below no, you know North America, uh, like okay, wouldn't you like I don't know, I feel like like wouldn't like the the, the like if uh, the the plane like like I don't know if it just fall out fall off the Earth or something. I don't but you, I don't know like yeah. I, I, I I don't know why I see it like that. Like like if we're, if if we're going in a circular motion, okay, so exactly. the Earth is going the Earth. So the Earth uh, the the plane would have to be going down for you to head to, to South America. That is true. So and you never experienced you know exactly the gravity. So we don't feel it because of that, right? Exactly. That. Wouldn't the, wouldn't the plane That's just fall why. off? You know, the the, the earth or whatever. Think, no, would sit I, still and there's no gravity. No, no. All would be just be. That is and that's where gra- gravity still. comes but in. I, but exactly. I, but I understand what he's no, saying. He's I saying if it, if it was round, for if for what he believes in, right? Or in flat earth, like this, the plane would be going like this. Exactly. Die. Come on. But the fact that it doesn't do that. See, yeah. unless it goes straight, but then unless it just keeps they, and then it doesn't yeah. stop. Unless, bro, it has like a very minor curve, and it's like you don't even feel exactly. it. Exactly, maybe that that's has it. to be it. But then talking yeah. about space, you know, another guy in here was real because I heard him make a quick. fake video. Remember the thing you were talking about? What? Uh, someone told me it was just like. I forgot what it was. It's like a fake video to just put up. Yo, hold on, you're gonna, you're space. gonna, you're gonna speak about space. I gotta right? into more. Just now. hold on one second. Yeah. And we are back in baby. That was not an intermission. Get straight to it. All right. So you so flat Earth shit. Wow. I yeah. n- I never really got into the flat Earth, man. I, yeah, it's like just, I, like this is how I look at well, it. I, I got into it when everybody else got into it. Oh, and so that's all. So you're a dick writer. Oh, dick writer. I'm a dick so writer. You have no facts. He's a dick writer. Okay, so uh, uh, um, he sucks, Kim K's cheese. Mm. We got a special cook today. And he cooked us the official Mad Love fries, delicioso. Mm. You gotta try these fries. The seasoning, the way they cut homemade it, the curvature. Love, homemade Mad Love Cajun. <laughs> these are flat earth fries. <laughs> <laughs> these shits go fucking down. You eat these shits like what the fuck is space, nigga? Oh, like, like like if the earth was round, wouldn't 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 we all fall off the earth? Gravity. Because if you think about it, exactly that's, that's when why. exactly so that's when gravity comes yeah, into the picture. You, you, Before we move on from this flat earth topic, which we barely, you know, touched the surface of, no pun intended. Um, the reason I don't really get into it, man, I feel like what's what's it gonna? We'll be able not to, prove to be, it. yo, I'm not like not to like freaking like come at the flat earthers or whatever. What that's lame that they even call them that, but. I don't know, I just, at this, where I'm at in life, man, I feel like I don't give a fuck if the earth is fucking a diamond, a star, I'm living, I gotta yeah. do what the fuck I gotta if do. If there's with a star, that won't be, be able to prove it anyways. Gonna, but, but what am I, and that too. You can't prove it, only people like, maybe scientists or like, you know, But I heard Alex Jones, I, remember the episode we watched, Alex Jones told Eddie Bravo that, yo, uh, we could f- he'll fund it. But Eddie Barbo has to be the one to go. He said, we'll, we'll fund something to he travel the whole yeah. earth around. Right. And we're going to try to prove it. But you know what's so crazy? This is one, you again. Could, wait, you could do that? You go around the whole earth. If you got the money. But let, but let me explain why. This is, again, one of those things that to, to really fact check it, 
you need money, you need yeah, power. Money, and it's power. like, well, we're just gonna accept facts? They could, they could fucking lie to us and say fucking all sorts of shit for years, yeah. bro. No, I need a shot to wake the fuck that's up. This ain't working today, yo. That's yo. what I was saying about that space shit. One of my friends, it was like a fake video they put this on. I don't know if it's real or not, but water. who knows? It's like, it's a conspiracy theory too, maybe. I mean, people just trying to lie, or maybe it is real. Ah, cold water. You gotta drink cold water, iced tea, and sweet tea. I'm cold water does wake you up. I heard people say do not drink cold water in the morning. Yeah, it's bad. It's not good. It hurts your stomach, so I think. No, no, I heard it's not even good for your system in, in the general, morning. Like, you, should, you have room temperature. No, like, it's, it's not your body like a shock. It's actually like not good in general. Possibly, yeah. It's good like, here and there, but it's really like warm. Oh, oh, also, just generally oh, don't even oh, drink because yeah, your body's not heated up, up yet or something. Yeah, I think that's what it is. It's good to drink room temperature water. Yeah, people always say room temperature water and stuff. Um, so yeah, I feel like what what, what is that gonna do for me, bro? I yeah. could a lot of conspiracies. I'm interested in them, and, and obviously we all sit down late at night. We want to check them out or some whenever throughout the day. But sometimes when it comes to like, so yo, the life. I'm not against them, like I said, but we can move on. How long you did lift? Like, I did lift uh, for about two years. But that's yeah, you're not. I can't consider you a veteran. But you gotta be lift, lift bro. Five, oh, you gotta be at least five years. Like. Like you're you're a veteran. That's different. That's we like, thought we were talking about Uber Eats and then. No, we're talking about all of them. All those. All of them. Any platform. job you can make they're money in with one your car. One is food and one is <clears> people. They're not the same. But it's all the same platforms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, these. Fix you up. Fix you up. Here to you. I'm not gonna lie, man. I do miss like the whole team, man. Like. I'd be like, man, like, because I like, ever since I was young, I'd always wanted friends around me. It always made me feel good. And I understand now, like, as I'm growing older, why I was insecure being by myself. I, I could not do shit by myself. I could not go somewhere by myself. But this guy, he, Kareem was always one of my, like, he was like my, someone I would look up to when it came to being, like, yourself and independent. Out of all my friends, like, this guy, he could just go somewhere by himself. And those kind of people, and Joey Diaz was talking about it. He's like, he loves people that could go somewhere and just make it happen. And I was like, you know, like that those people are just like, that's that's being that to me that is like that's real power. Yeah. To yeah, me, yeah, if yeah. you don't have that, that's like your God given gift uh -huh. to be in your own body and be fully comfortable no matter where you're at. Yeah, yeah. And I used to look at those people like, man, I, like I used to just like envy them, not in a mad way. Just like, fuck, man, they, yeah, yeah. they could just I be don't anywhere. Have that capability. Like I couldn't do that. And then when I was able to do it, I was like, wow, this was so cool. So I just wanted a lot of friends. And I remember in high school, I think all of us were like this. Yo, we just want to be known as the guy walking down the hallway. Yeah. Yo, shake it. Well, what is it called? Dapping people up. Yo, yeah. yo. Like, yo, it, yo, you didn't even, you, you probably seen the guy at least two times. You know what to say about guys? You got to see a guy two times. Like guy, how guys make friends and girls make friends. A guy sees a guy one time walking down the, like, the hallway. Hey, yo. Second time, yo, you again? What's up, my boy? Yeah. Like, as a, as a guy in, in high school growing up, I remember you too, like all of us. I don't know how you were. Yeah. We're in school, we're walking, and we just want to, yo, yeah, we just want numbers. Lot. I remember yeah. I just wanted numbers in my phone, bro. At one point, I literally was just friending everybody mm -hmm. just so I could have a long list of numbers. <laughs> it made me feel yeah, good. It was like collecting, yo, people. it was like collecting Pokemon cards. Uh -huh. Like, I was like, I was collecting numbers and not just girls, everyone. I just wanted, I'm like, yeah, this guy, uh, move, like, I just, any name, yeah. I'm like, yo, who are you? <laughs> like, anytime I could find some type of connection, I'm like, yo, I'm going to get this person's number, yo, so I can have mad friends. Mm -hmm. Cause I just wanted to be the guy, and that's why I started. Remember, like the little I had started my own. It's not a gang, cause we weren't violent, but we called it MFBC. <laughs> Yo, it was a, a <laughs> best club. Oh, my <laughs> crew. Oh, it worked both club. ways. I started it, like I was like, cause I think it was other gangs around at the time, and plus, and the, the gang era was going. The gangsterism was being pushed in the music, yeah, man. Yeah. Which, by the way, is one of them I I I hated, and until this day, I detest. The 2000s music era. I, I, I'm not saying I hate every rapper in 2000. Eminem is one of my favorite artists, like rappers and shit. And there's other great ones. DMX, rest in peace. So many of them, right? But um, Paul Wall, whole social house. But I didn't like the, like, you know why I didn't like it? And I'm, I don't think I've ever actually said this on camera. I feel like I couldn't fit in at that time, yo. Everyone had, like, they were on some gang shit. And I wasn't cool They're enough. in the 2000s? Yeah, remember when we were in school, everyone was big yeah, shirts. Big, yeah, yeah, yeah. Pushing, yo, what was it? Like, they were pushing D-Block, G-Unit. And yo, I could not fit in, yo. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I feel like I was left out. And and, and, and because of that, I always yeah, hated Eminem it, yo. Yeah, Eminem is no gangster music. It's like more of the, like, no, it's not no, like no, ratchet. Not no, it's not yeah, ratchet gangster, though. Like, Biggie. I'm talking OG Eminem. Exactly. This dude, I don't even fuck with that, Eminem. Oh, he had his own crew. What was Eminem's crew? D12. D12. Oh, yeah, he had a fucking that, yeah, game, yeah. bro. 
I hate to me I hated the two thousands era, man. I love my childhood, but when it came to that, bro, I used to hate going to school. Uh-huh. And it, like it's like I had to conform. I remember like oh, yeah. if you didn't have a big shirt, yeah, yeah you weren't cool. Like oh, you weren't baggy in. pants. That's baggy pants. Were, oh, high school two thousand. Oh, that's yeah. probably we, we had were, big yeah. shirts and, and baggy pants. It was like an old yeah. New York. You guys had the fitted look. Yo, yeah, yeah, and you didn't have Air Force. Yo, I, I, yo, I, I, look, I, I, I'm not gonna lie. I, I do I did come back to like uh, a little more bigger clothes like a few years back because I was like yo I'm getting tired of the tight shit I do like loose I like them both though also, but I think this bag, one's more presentable it was more baggy clothes back oh, and baggy now it's like yeah, hell. Are fitted yeah. jeans is not like you guys are denim you're like the jeans. fitted ever, yo. Like the yo. denim jeans, all them. But we're bagged up, little yeah. grammar school like kids, fucking shirts down to the knees. Oh yeah, yeah yo, that, huh? yo, yo, I, I, I think this is true. When someone wears baggy clothes, where well, at least I remember back then. They looked more intimidating. Yeah. Right? Like somebody with baggy clothes, and I think that's another thing we wanted as boys and, mm. and like little young boys. We were like, we want, I want to be baggy. I want to be baggy. <laughs> you know, I want to yeah, baggy it, girls. It, it does look intimidating, man. Like, gang right? Though. Like, yo, you would walk like outside. Gang, yo, it was like scary gang, being outside. Like gang, yo, yo, I don't care what people say. All oh, the world's getting worse. To me, this shit was worse before. Yeah. At least my immediate environment. I'm, I use my, my home area as an example, Jersey City. Mm-hmm. I remember Jersey City in the 2000s, even late 90s, versus like up until now. Back then, bro, you it was scary walking outside. My dad said he got ran up on. Someone tried to like mug him. It's kind of yeah. still like All the, stuff. those shootings. I don't see none robbed. of that. I didn't, I'm you talking know, about I stepped out my house and dealt with Dickinson it. Dickinson was like that. Yeah. But, it's, but that's like one area better now, uh-huh. yeah. and I heard Dickinson it's, was it's worse too stay, like, it, I know Dickinson was worse back then it was worse before I heard the but teachers was fighting bro Yo, I heard stories of a teacher fighting like, like, they were, fighting now they, they, there was still like shooting and stabbings going on though. of course yeah, look, there's always going to be yeah. violence going but on obviously but back then it was higher scale there was like no like they're just breaking rules I guess maybe it wasn't as controlled or something it just just be I grew up and a lot of gang shit we've seen and, and I don't know if y'all know about this person. Uh, he's an advocate for, um, I guess, just you could just say positivity, even though you, you may come across the videos that will make you think he's not. Mm-hmm. Charleston White. Oh. oh, no, no, no. What? Charleston White. What? I suggest you guys check out Charleston White because he, 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 he looking at him from the outside perspective, not to judge, most people will be like, oh, this guy's a, he's one, he, he's one of those, the ones he's against. He's against, he talks a lot of stuff about rappers and this, that. And I agree to sum it all up. I fuck with his message. He's like, yo, why are we promoting gangs? Why do we say R.I.P. to someone who killed someone? Why do we do that? Yeah. And I never liked it back then too. Like, like, and even uh, even being young, you see the girls going to the guy who's a fucking gang member, like bad as hell. And like, what the fuck? Like, what is this bitch doing, bro? Uh-huh. Like, I'm over here, yeah. Like, I'm thinking like I gotta be the smartest kid. Like, my parents are telling. You no, know I'm saying being young. Back in the day, it was like. I guess this is what I'm trying to say. Being young, it's just so much on on our plates. Yeah. Like, it, like you're told this, you see. Th- you're you're told one thing, but you see something else. Uh-huh. Your par- you you're, you're in your household, the teachers, whatever, they're telling you, be nice, be kind, be good. You see it on the commercial, you said TV, but then you go outside, you see people, assholes, e- yeah. bad, evil. And yeah. then you're like, what's going on here? And then you, you, as a guy, you like girls, but then you see girls go with guys who are like rude. Mm-hmm. And you're like, well, your mind just like, and at least I remember me, I'm like, I couldn't figure it out. Like, what's going mm-hmm. on? Do I got to be the asshole? There was a time I thought, do I have to be bad? Mm-hmm. But yeah. I couldn't bring myself then, to be an asshole. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, but I feel like... Now, I, mean, I don't know, but now the back, but being yourself too plays a role too. It's hard being but, yourself. Yeah, like you're about a young age, you want to try to like fit in and stuff. Yup. The, the high school's all yeah. about that. If you don't have the shoes that's yeah. out right now, yeah. you know, yeah. if you don't have the dunks that's new right now, like, oh, you got the dunks, but don't, oh, no, no, you got the knockoffs. Nah, you ain't real, the fam. The fugazis. Yeah. You got the fugazis, B. What are some dishes they say to somebody? Or what are those? Yeah, what are those? those, those that's old. There was one that took some shoes and ran on. Nah, that's fucking robbing people's shoes. Like, what are those? That's it. That was like the main it's one. It's like, yo, if you wear new shoes, they're going to rob you. If you wear wax shoes, oh, they're going to the, fucking the, make fun like, of yo, you. Yo, those are knockoff Yeezys, man. Yo. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, that was embarrassing. I remember. I would not even wear shacks. I think I wore them. I wore them when I didn't know how, how like unpopular they were. But when I found out, I was like, oh hell no, I gotta get the Air Forces. I'm like, what? I'm wearing these and shit. And then people, and then people, it's just crazy what we be focused on when we're young. Somebody's yeah. like, somebody's eyeing your shoes instead of trying to see what kind of person you are. They're like this. Yeah, yeah. I don't right? know, man. Everyone was always like this. They're like this. Like I don't know, man. Like, like you could be the coolest person, the most knowledgeable person, yeah. the most friendliest person. They're like. Them, them shoes real though? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? They're really yeah, them shoes real, but they see you have weed. They're like, oh, what's up? Oh, the weed, oh, oh. burn. Weed is a great way for people to come together. That's making me mad. Right? right? Freshman year, that then you just meet like mad different people. Yo, t- yo shoes. tell me some weed experiences of, of like people coming together. 
I remember a time Dickinson, you know that that place? It's like near the Dead Man's Sound, but it's like some grass place. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone would just get together and be, uh, before lunch or like before. Yep, yep. Although I didn't do it the morning. Some people, wow, they go before class. They'll be like smoking like a whole bunch of like eight different people having a second. Oh, all but you, yo, yo, they didn't have money like that. So they're siphoning a, yeah. a one to one. Then, then you meet, you, you start seeing, you, don't, you never met this person. They're just like, what's up? Oh, hell start yeah. start meeting cool yeah, ass yeah, people, yeah, yo. Yeah. Oh, I remember one of my, we were talking about down bad experiences. Like what, the first episode was it? Hold on, we're going to stop the whole podcast because I got a text message. And it could be your bitch. Yeah. You want to know. <laughs> Someone just responded to me, right? No and, pops. And I don't like this type of shit, so that's why I'm bringing it up. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it's nobody's name. Uh-huh. Yo, you give them a paragraph, right? I'm those paragraph people when it's necessary. And then they hit you up mad late, like with one word, like damn. I'm like, okay, cool. Yo, you're another one, you're an ass texter. But you used to be good. I mean, we could text for the longest, bro. It was sometimes unnecessarily yeah, long. Did. I remember one time you told me something and I just was like, what the fuck? We used to, me and Kareem, bro, we used to yeah, talk on, we used to talk on the house phone. That's some gay shit. Yo, <laughs> we used to talk I mean, on the house, right, yo, bro shit, yeah. bro man shit. Nigga, but yo. <laughs> well, we and him used to be on the phone gay, like, a lot of hours and shit. I, I, I agree with him. I did my friend live far as fuck. Mm-hmm. I remember him one time telling me, he's like, yo, like, uh, I don't know if you told me or I found out, you said you were sitting in the bathtub? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. What the fuck were you doing, bro? Now I'm bad. <laughs> You're sitting in the bathtub? I you guess. talk on the phone in the bathtub? The, right, is that where you feel comfortable? Sometimes I would do it. But the bathtub? Not the, the, not the seat? Good? The toilet seat? <laughs> Look, I understand the toilet seat. I, I, I don't know if females can relate, but and I, and I saw I saw a video about this. So they say the man's sanctuary, like our place of peace is like the bathroom sometimes. We could spend hours in the bathroom. Just the bathroom is a very peaceful place, man. It's like, because if you got a big family especially, you, you go in the bathroom and you just chill out, you got some peace for a while. But what the fuck were you doing in the tub, my nigga? What the fuck were you doing at the time? Were you butt naked? No, no, no. I'm you fucking good. kick your ass. I wish I'd go back in time and kick your ass for talking no, no, to me. No, I was not naked. even taking a shower, just sitting there. He was in the bathtub. Nah, that's wild, yo. What led you to the bathtub? Please explain, bro. We don't even have to you say. You know what it is. You know what people have a good look, conversation. Look. You ever saw like that video and they, they just be laying on like top of a closet? Yeah, thing? that is They're true. a good combo. I heard, I've seen shit like when people have, when people speak, they they're, they're on the phone. They're so into it. They also are doing random shit. Maybe yeah, it, so it's one of two things. Why every time? I, so you really don't know. You're saying one of two things yeah, that you don't know. Yeah, because I really don't know. So there's one of two things. Why, like you know, um, it's when we always used out. to talk, I, I, you know, um. I would always end up in the bathtub, you know. Uh, to, uh, always? Uh, this wasn't a one-time uh, thing? Like, you know, constantly, to, uh, uh, no, no, I would constantly you know, end up in the bathtub, you know, while talking to you Okay, so when you said bathtub. So you would go with your clothes on? Yeah, with my clothes on. Wouldn't it be wet My question there? is, were you laid in the bathtub, sitting in the was what position? Uh, sitting. Uh, I, I was Just sitting. like this, But was it wet, though? Like, like this? Was, nah, it, nah. was it dry or what? Nah, I wasn't like this, like, like what completely the flat. <laughs> nah, hell no. No flat earth? No, no, no. I was sitting, because, you know, um... Like, uh, I was on the side of the bathtub, you know. Oh, you were not in the bathtub? Nah. Well, I was not, uh, uh <clears throat> I was not in it. I was, uh, I was sitting on, like... Oh, I got you mean that, uh, like, a ledge exactly, kind of shit? Exactly, okay, okay. on the side of the bathtub. Maybe that's your piece. That's your exactly. peaceful place. Okay. So, 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 one of two things, well, one reason, uh, uh, you know, I would constantly do that is, um, like, like you said earlier, right now, the, uh, you, when, you, when you're on the phone, you start doing random s- stuff. Mm-hmm. So, so I would just end up in the bathtub, uh, in, in the bathroom. I guess you know, it, it, um, I would just end up there, you know, in the right, bathroom. Right, right. I, you know, I, I, I saw it as a good place to just, you know, talk, 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 talk like to the phone. Exactly, it was calm, like it was zone. quiet. Now the, <laughs> other, <laughs> now, now, the other, now the other thing could have been is is that it, uh, you know nights we would talk so late on the, on the phone. Privacy, you gotta be quiet, right? Like privacy. Exactly. Oh. I, I had to keep uh, you know I, I had oh, to be I quiet, and yeah, then yeah. you know everyone else was sleeping, mm-hmm. so that's why I had to yeah, end like, up like I, in private. the bathroom talking to you, you know, for like hours. Oh, I got I got a freaking so yeah. Well, the bathroom was my place to talk late at night when I was on the phone with a girl. <laughs> Cause I wasn't just talking about. Oh yeah, about I know your, what you mean. How was your day like? What you wearing right now underneath that? Is you wearing anything? Yeah. And and in my in my household, I don't know if anyone household's cool with this. I don't know. To be honest, I gotta say this. I don't know. If this is just an Indian thing, right? Us brown people or whatever. We can't just fucking openly. I don't even feel to this day. To I don't. Well, a little more than before. I never felt comfortable speaking to a girl around my family members. 
never to this day. Me neither. A yeah. little better now. I just I can't be on the yeah, phone. You gotta just go like zipper room or like. Yup. Like, but especially knowing you're gonna eventually talk like eventually it's gonna lead to some sexual shit. Yeah. And, but I've seen it in other people. I've seen people openly outside. Yeah. What's up? Like. Yeah. Oh, what you wearing? Or there'll be. I'm like. I'm like. What is yeah, this? Like. Want. Ew, like. I don't know. And, yeah. I guess it, it, and we grew up like our parents, especially me, right? My parents telling me like, yo, my dad especially don't, don't bring no girls here. Don't talk to no yeah, girls. Yeah. It was like girls is a no-no. We grew up more disciplined. I guess. But I don't know if that's good though. I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. Me, not. me and him avoid you. I know I, we could talk about this because we and Lloyd always talk about Me, you and Steven and Steve, and so on. Our sister had a conversation about this. We said, yo, and I'll be honest with you. I've struggled speaking to women growing up because I felt like it wasn't accepted in my household. So the stuff beliefs that come in your, from your house, right? Yeah. Look look how I got the cup though, random. Yeah. The stuff that that's, that's told in your household, that's what yo, that's that's like you're you're downloading that shit. That becomes a part of you and how you go out about your life, right? For years to come. I'm I'm growing up in a house my dad's like uh, man, like I said, no girls, don't talk to girls. Was that a girl? Mm-hmm. No, no, that was, was Kareem. He's in the bathtub. All right, make sure. Like, okay, he yeah. can do that gay shit as <laughs> long as you're not with a girl. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Long as it's not a girl, that's it. You <laughs> see, they see you with a pic. I couldn't even have a picture of a girl sometimes. I don't know. Like, so I don't remember exactly. I got to talk about talk to my dad about this again. Like, what was up with that, bro? But, like, what was the reason? Why were you trying to keep? I, I can't, it could probably be sex before marriage. You were younger. Yeah. Sex before marriage, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But because of that, and remember we had to talk about this, well, now we had a hard time, like we're, we're going to school now, it's not the house. And you're seeing guys and girls talk together and and sometimes I would, I'm, it's a normal conversation, but when it came to like flirting and getting them like more than just friends, it was always yeah. difficult for me, man. Like it wasn't until like late yeah, that's high school. Yeah, what you mean about that. But right? I, 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 Speak on I, it. I would just do it like, even they say they don't do it, I would just. Go, I was still talking to macros at the house. But you didn't, you didn't, but you didn't in grammar that. school. Did you yeah. feel uncomfortable talking to girls? In grammar girl? school? In 27 yeah, school. I, 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 that's when I had my first girlfriend. In, you had a girlfriend yeah. in grammar school? Yeah, I remember this, this girl, Danny, yeah. Even Goldie, I remember. Even remember Goldie, Goldie grammar school. That girl, Tiffany, Goldie always used to say, remember that shit he used to always call Goldie Dana? used to, I did? Yeah. Yo, yo, you guys be bringing, yo, when we talk about this shit, you guys first, be bringing shit back, bro. That was my first girl ever. Goldie did used to say this thing, Tiffany, me, yo, me, I used to do it too. Mm-hmm. We, yeah. You know how when you know somebody likes someone, you're like, oh, you mean, yeah, like, yeah, Goldie used to do that boy. I get me when your dad Damn tells you to do that, it, it'll be hard for you to do, like, when you're actually yeah. going out there. But okay. you gotta still do low key though. Mm-hmm. Like, yo, shout like, out to you for having a girl in grammar school. You still, Boy, you still, you still gotta do shots low key. to that, bro. Come on, did you fuck her? <laughs> Not that age, first grade, come on, bro. <laughs> But no, nah, like it was so hard to talk to girls, and yeah. all the way up until yeah. I, yo, I even struggled even a little bit, fucking late, like late, yeah, like, like early twenties, college, seem, a little they bit, to make early it seem college. Like it was something bad when it's yeah, they made it seem like it was the end of the world, like another, bro. end of the world. They're just like another human, just as mm-hmm. a female. There's other things I could say, but I'm not gonna say here because I feel like one day my parents will watch this, <laughs> and they're gonna be like, "What the fuck did you do?" I'm not gonna even say it. Mm-hmm. For the respect of them, but nah, it was very difficult, man. I'm like, what the fuck? And then I'll see other people, younger people. Like you're in high school, you see grammar school kids bagging, and so bagging became a thing. Oh, you got zero bitches, or you, oh, you don't got oh, no, yeah, that's you don't got thing. no biddies, you ain't got no baddies. Mm-hmm. What was the names for girls that guys, the guys or whoever were thinking like, what the fuck? Yo, yo, you ain't got no game. Yeah. And now they got this new thing. What you ain't got no. What? what do they call game now? Boy. Riz? Riz? No, Riz. Oh, Riz. That's, like a, that's not new, actually. That's, that's old? Nah, that's actually a few years ago. Riz? Yeah, yeah it's some weird school. shit, man. I'm not, that's I'm not a, with that's it. Actually a, yo, what's your that's Riz? A, that's like, a high school. Yo, he's, yo, he's rizzing her. It's a different term now. That's basically, yeah, you say, like, macking. A pickup line. Yo, I like, like a pickup line. Oh. You, you, you say Cinder, like, oh, that's Riz. Oh, he got some Riz. <laughs> She okay. Or if a girl tells me that you got Riz, I'm walking away. Yeah, that's definitely a grammar school girl. Yeah, I'm walking away. Yeah, that's not like a No, I've seen some videos with some older chicks. They're just doing it for a trend shit. thing now. They're probably, yeah, they're normal part. girl, it's not even a vibe, like a pickle. It's just how you, like, you approach mm-hmm. them, like the vibe. Of like. course. Oh, yeah, I'm not. Uh, say that again for them one time. It's about how you approach them, just like a vibe. Or and you said it's, it's not, not about, about pickup pick lines. Yeah, I'm not with no pickup lines. That's, like that's probably like, if you go on like an app, like Tinder mm-hmm. or like something. Yo, I'm going to be honest. Because I'm a person who likes to take in information. And sometimes I'll read things even if I'm not so heavily interested. And one thing that I read, and I probably read only two books about this and never completed none of them. I barely did. I'm not just saying that to say, oh, I don't need those things. Because I did need those things. I had trouble speaking to women. When I read books about dating and um, what are they, they called? Seductive culture. It was certain books, right? 
I never felt right reading these books. They're like, oh, you, if you want to have all the women in the world, you need to say this. You need to approach them like this. You They're need trying to, to make you think it's like it's a certain way. Yeah, they, they make it seem like, like I'm never about way. a system. I'm never about yeah. a system. I'm about it's like, just, yo, we out here. We're doing what we're doing. Yeah. And like you said, what were you like? It's just about how you approach them. There's no right way. Just yeah. how, what happens. Like Anytime what flows you, with it. You, it, it flow. Anytime you think, at least for me, I don't know about y'all, because I've seen people follow pickup lines, and, and sometimes it works for them, and sometimes it's so. Lame. They gotta try. Mm-hmm. You gotta so try. you could just tell this person, they like, oh, you can tell these people, like, think it's like that's uh-huh. B. You have to, like, think it's yeah. to say. Mm-hmm. Like, that's like force or something. Well, now so, it, it's just about, like, it, to me, the best way to approach anyone is just what's the first thing that comes to your mind? That's what I was talking about the, the, the music stuff. Mm-hmm. If you go to a concert where they're playing songs that you like, like the artist you like, and someone's vibing to it, like, oh shit, you're, you're a fan of him uh-huh. or her? They're like, yeah, I'm like, oh, he, like when did you ever to go to the show look you see it just it gives the room to talk you're not just like i've never been so i've never been a complimenter off of obvious things i've never went up to a girl and said you look pretty mm-hmm. i barely did that i don't think i've ever did that yeah, and, I, and if i ever did it it never worked i've done it very few times yeah that's good i, I thought you were gonna say yeah. i do it i would be like kareem yeah, that's what you, <laughs> yeah very few times yeah. it's probably like oh, being yeah, thirsty very few times, right? i remember or, or not, well, some people just be like you're bad as fuck yeah, yeah some people like you're bad as fuck you're a baddie yeah mm-hmm. well no like, I, can't, I, I kept I a little more like um professional mm-hmm. like like uh, i remember I, I i would tell certain girls yeah, uh, why you're, you're, you're you're gorgeous you're beautiful I, okay okay I, 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 yeah, I, remember, maybe, I remember a few times maybe I, I said maybe that maybe you probably really felt maybe it right? maybe it worked sometimes yeah I felt right? it hurt. that's why maybe well, it worked sometimes fake. but you're right it's like I forgot what up but, yeah, it's all good. Know. Saying that he called, she said to a girl, "You're gorgeous. You're beautiful." I don't know. Gorgeous sounds oh, like you remember really now. It's like yeah, they, like they that. always hear from like, mad like, people. Like, it's like, just like that's, that's nothing new. That's I'll another thing. Hearing. I can't see myself go up to a girl and just tell her, "Oh, because she looks pretty." Oh, oh, what should I tell her? Oh, you're pretty. Yeah. yeah like, like, like you're I remember one time, like I thought so hard about it yeah. too. Yo, she was on the. She was she, at that day. She was working at the front, right? Uh huh. Checking IDs, and I remember I always thought she looked pretty. But I didn't know what to say to her because I was probably overthinking it. Yeah. And, and then I went, and um, and this was my pre weed days. Uh-huh. So like I said, I don't really, I never smoked weed like that. But the one time I had a good high, it like made me realize I'm overthinking things. But before weed, I was on some shit like systematic uh-huh. or, or trying to figure life out. I was being, I was oh, taking life too really complicated. That, yeah. I was like, yo, everything's, yo, everything is just like. Really, but when I smoked, I was like. Oh, yeah. The fuck and was I stressing about? I told them a story one, one, one time I had a good high. I went in my call log. You know that call log I told you I've been freaking uh, racking up since high school? I hit up every girl in my call log. Mm-hmm. I had this good high. I was like, yo, hell yeah. yeah. I hit up all of them. I'm like, yo, what's up? What you do? What you, what you do? Uh-huh. I was even voice notes that they weren't picking up and shit. Get the fuck out of here, <laughs> bro. Hey, come on, bro. <laughs> so I saw her and I would see her a few days, right? Uh-huh. And I'm like, man, I want to say something to her. I just want to have this, I want to have an interaction with her, uh-huh. man. And I remember I went up and I, and I thought about it so hard and I was like, um, by the way, you, you look very, I think I said something like, I said something either very good, amazing or whatever, but I said, by the way, you're very pretty. I think I said that. Just yeah. like that, by the way, you're very pretty. You should have said like, <laughs> that. I could have been better than that. She was like, oh, thank you. You're so sweet. And then, well, that's like and, a high school thing, right? Like a and then it went thing. nowhere. And then it just, that was it. Yeah, it was yeah. not, a, and, and that always confused me because I remember I was like, I'm being nice to girls. And this guy's over here like, yo, bitch. Or he'll be like, yo, or he'll be like, yo, what's up? And she responds to him. And I'm like, yo, I, I'm being nice. Why is she not responding to me? I thought being nice is the thing. And then, and then I started hearing like girls don't like nice guys. They're like assholes. Well, you know, the, the quote for, for that, nice guys finish last. They say that, yeah. But then like. Yeah, I, so I, you go to the club like, yo, bitch. <laughs> yo, relax, yo. <laughs> oh, we know some people that have done some wild things. That, oh, man. We can definitely talk about gonna it. We're going to need them on this true, podcast they, to talk they, about they, it. They, I'm they, not they, saying they, it without them. I'll ask you both this one question. Do you think, do you believe that nice guys finish last? That, uh, it is true. Yeah, so I've you heard believe it. About it. Yes. Lot, yeah. Do you believe nice guys finish last? If I do. If you ask me, do I believe nice guys finish last? Now, to me. General, yeah. I, I, maybe to me, yeah, I, I've seen it happen. Mm-hmm. There's experience. Exactly. Exactly. Okay, exactly. Talk, talk about it. Let I, me talk. I, exactly. Through. Exactly. What he just said, I've seen it, so I, I, I'm able to see it for myself. Yeah. Exactly. I, I, I was able to see it for myself. That nice guys finish last. Like, it's like, how do we see it? I was that dude. It's like oh, okay, you can't be like, like more, I guess we, we had that. Like, <laughs> gotta have some like, I don't know, see like aggressive, aggressive, I guess, or mm-hmm. yeah. something like tough right. about it. Yeah. Keep it going, keep it going. Right, like, like I'm a person, I don't just, just believe, be straight up. I, I don't just believe things, you know, because, uh, you know, everyone else says it. I, I like huh? to see it for myself. Exactly. And, and with this, 
I've seen, you know, I, I believe that nice guys finish last because I've seen it for myself. Yeah. I've seen so many nice guys, you know, who, who are just nice to girls, mm -hmm. all kind, uh, yeah, w w whatever. And and in the end, like, I, 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 I see it from the girl, like, she's she's not, she, she, she just goes along with it, or she, and, you know, she, 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 you know, she, she just like you know leads the, leads the guy on, but she, she's yep, not really yep. interested in the guy. Yep, yep. And I've you know and, and like I've seen the assholes, you know, the ones who are you know like assertive, the ones who are more manly and like you know like you know like, like oh yeah and like bad boys and all that kind of stuff. Bad boys? Oh, you a bad yeah. boy? <laughs> yeah, yeah. But yeah, uh, again, you know, it falls into all that. Yeah. I don't. I've seen you know the majority of the time those are the ones you know that 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 the girls are always attracted to. You know, like I've seen. Let me ask you another question. Do you feel like? Assholes finish first. What does that mean? Finish first. That means it's the opposite. So he's making this a whole. So, so if you believe right that, that that's your not, yo, that, oh, that, that you that they, they finish first. Like uh, uh, they'll get the girl, but it won't last. Me, you mean like that? No, no, no. Yo, hold that thought for a minute. I'm gonna go ask him at the bar, man. Yo, yo, I wouldn't yo. be surprised if people are there today. He's so about it. He wants to go today. Like, I'm so fun, not. I'm, I'm on my old nigga shit. I need a fries. Fucking that's sitting here. So fun. Yo, what's on the TV that's today? Like, that's like, <laughs> Because people love asking, do you believe nice guys finish last? And both of them said, yes, they finish last. So now I'm asking them a different question. Because you could believe that and maybe not believe this. Do you believe that assholes finish first? I could explain a little more, but I just want to, like, what comes that to your mind when you hear that? Uh, what does it even mean? Like? So what I mean is, first, I, without giving the meaning, because this is me making it up. Do you, what do you, what, yes or no? Okay, I'll explain. Let me explain. I don't know what that So, means. what I mean by yeah, that is. I, I do believe assholes finish first. So, he believes assholes Without finish first. Without knowing completely what that means. What I mean, what I mean, what I mean by that is um, if you see a guy who's nice and you see a guy who's an asshole, if the asshole, a nice guy approaches the girl, he's not getting none. He's not even getting a number. Asshole approaches the girl, he's getting a number. Oh, yeah. That's it. Uh, yeah. So, he got her first. Yeah, definitely, yeah. Yes? Okay, both of you said yes. Yeah. Um, That's so, now when you, now. Like now, if you ask me, do nice guys finish first? I'm gonna have to get nerdy with it. I, to me, you have to define to me what you think is nice. What do you see as nice? What, what do you define nice? as nice? Like, who is this nice guy? Describe to me uh, what is a nice like guy. Like he said, they treat people like, they're like you, they treat you, people good. You feel okay to say you, Nick? And you can say to me right here. No, I'm, I'm saying, I'm like, I'm saying, did you say like he said, like treat being too nice, treating someone too good, like overly treating something like, too nice? Yeah, like a nice guy to me. It's like someone who like talks nice, uh, you know, smooth with everything, kind, and like. Damn. Second episode is out, and it did get released at nine, but it says copyright restrictions. Partially, video contains copyright material as a rule. It has been blocked in some countries or regions. I hope it's not the U.S. Like I only care about the Look U.S. Look what you did, Drake. Imagine no, take... should have just let Drake Ross figure, win, yo. Look what Drake's doing, Kareem. Um, see, details perfect. Now we're gonna find out. This is why Drake is a. We got some copyright issues, and I'm surprised that Kodak Black has some, but it said no impact. Rick Ross's song, no impact. Drake's song, video cannot be seen or monetized in some territories. Had Why? It had to be the Drake song. Wait, hold My goal has been to drop a scheduled podcast. I wanted to do it last week. I struggle with scheduled releases. If you know me, you're probably like, yo, Tish, what the fuck? You say things are going to drop, and they never do it. Like, if you have been offline for a long time, but... Yo, I have a hard time dropping things on time. I'll be like, yo, it's dropping this day, and it doesn't. Because fucking technological issues. And other than that, I'm just fucking, and I'm living my life out there. I'm doing other things. Editing is, because I'm doing it all. I'm editing. I'm, I'm doing so many people's jobs. But I mean, it's my own shit. So it makes it hard for me to, to actually drop something on the same time. Sunday, 9 p.m. has always been my thing for, for podcasts. I chose that. I don't know. I don't know what you guys. I think Sunday at 9 p.m. is the best time. Yeah. It's like That's at 8 p.m. Everyone's, everyone's still maybe not everyone's in the house yet. You're 9 p.m. I'm you know, come on, but it's like mom's calling you. Everyone's calling you, and they're like, "Yo, get the fuck in the house and have dinner," right? And I'm like, "That's the best time." People sit down and watch it. So what we're celebrating for right now is well, you already know the tradition. Today, May 5th, the second episode of Voices just dropped. 9 p.m. every Sunday. I'm gonna try to do that. I'm not. I, I can't promise. No promises. You know what I mean? I say I'm gonna fuck your bitch on Tuesday night. I end up fucking her Wednesday. Shit. Can't trust me, G. Shout out Young Thug, by the way. I'm not gonna say free Young Thug because if he did it, keep his fucking ass in jail. No, free Young Thug. No, Who knows what really happened? Fun. The justice system is all twisted. Bang. Nah, vote though. Fuck you.
Yo, while we're turning up, let's see what's up with the presidential election. Just throw it in there, you know what I mean? Everybody got tigers, so I'm winning, gotta like it. Is this the best part? Oh, yeah, no. Yo, Shades one? Shout out Einstein Bagels Bros. If you got one around you, go to it. Check it out. Get you get yourself a chai tea latte. If you fuck with warm shit, get the farmhouse. Or get the I think it's called a Sunday, Friday, Sunday. Get that shit. It's six months until the U.S. election, by the way. Do pollsters know where their candidates are? Pollsters? Way to make money on Amazon. It's six months away. Half a year left. So it says eight days ago, Trump maintains lead over Biden in 2024. I'm going to always take a shot for that, bro. So go watch episode two. It's out right now. Mad Love and Jay's the channel. Subscribe, like, drop your thoughts, your comments, any topics you want to talk about. And if you want to be a guest on the show, madloveNJ at gmail.com. We out here. Ladies and gentlemen, it is 10.39 yeah. Central Standard Time, 11.39 Eastern. And Roger Stone, this is 26. Yo, Queen, the Ford administration of all the nine campaigns, night. he's here tonight. And he said, you don't understand, this is just the beginning. Now we are bound for Yo. death. If we don't deliver this plan and free humanity, we will be bound to the ninth circle of hell. I'm bound to this truth, and I will never stop delivering but now i realize i've won <laughs> oh, shit. what people like alex jones and others all right so um we were talking about a bunch of shit man oh the nice guy this that well let's move away from that right but let's before we move away from that uh, uh he they both uh, he agreed that uh assholes do finish first and i and this is what i was saying i was like to me you gotta define to me what you see as a nice guy. And I asked them what they saw as a nice guy. Overly friendly, right? Just yeah. trying, basically um, just telling her anything that he thinks that she needs to hear, but yeah. not what he really wants. Yeah. So let me tell you guys this. I define nice in different ways. Nice could also be, yo, you're nice. Like you're nice at getting girls. Uh -huh. yo, he's a nice guy. Like he could go up to her like, hey, like very polite. Like I, I remember when I did that one time, I had my, I just pulled, I, um, did I keep my hand out? And then she, she grabbed it and I kissed her hand. I was like, that's that's a nice guy to me. Uh -huh. That's being a nice guy too. Yeah. Right? So I define it in different ways, but I can see the way people define it, what they're looking at. So so if you have to ask me, do nice guys finish last? If you're if you're if you look at it the way as in like a guy who's overly friendly, just telling a girl what she needs to hear, then hell yeah, that nigga finishes last. He deserves to finish last. This is something that I think Iliad Hustle. Shut ch check out Iliad Hustle. I believe that's his name. Iliad, something like Iliad Hustle. He, he's the GOAT, man, GOAT. And I believe he's from Florida. He has a wild story. Sleeping in the benches in St. Petersburg, I think, to starting his own gym and shit. Oh, shit. He's a fucking GOAT. I, I love him, man. He's, he's amazing. He played a huge role in me. I would say, I, I, like, one of many things that helped me really become a true, a version, ideal version of myself as a man, right? And then just as a guy in general. And he said something like, nice guys deserve to finish last because... They're liars. You need to watch out for those guys. Like, they're very conniving. They'll do anything to get in the girl's pants. Like, they'll lie to the girl. They're, they're the ones actually stringing her along because they're telling her things that they don't really mean. While an asshole's telling her straight up, like, yo, yeah. I, don't, like, I fuck with your hair, kind of. But it's, it's not, it's aight. Hey. She's like, what do you mean it's aight? But the nice guy's like, oh, I love bitch. your hair. It looks amazing. I don't get that yeah. for your, yeah. work, your, your hair is amazing. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I love That's you. That's what I'm saying. It right? might work in my end, do it. To probably get tired of being called this. Ex exactly. And no one should even be yeah. for that, man. So when I say That's assholes, when we said assholes like finish that, first, we don't mean <laughs> guys. What, what, what he said, Kareem, say it again. What do you What do you say a person who is, I don't know if you remember, you said as a guy who's assertive. Like, yeah. Straight up. You exactly. Know? Like, you know, um, right, like, uh, you know, uh, asshole, assholes, they're, they're like, you know, they're, they're more like uh, assertive with women, you know, straightforward. Mm -hmm. You know, they, they, you know, they say straight up what they want, you know, from a woman. Yeah. You know, just like completely, like straight out honest. From and, the and and to be honest, that doesn't even have to be called an asshole. 
Like it, it sucks that we, we only got nice guys and assholes. Right. What about the guy who's just a guy? He's just being real. So so, let me take that away. I only I only said assholes because people like to say, oh, if he's not, if you're an asshole, you're gonna get a girl. No, that's the way they both. Those are the two categories. They're the polar opposites. Exactly. Too, right. They're like the polar yeah, opposites. That it comes down it's to it's like light and dark, good and bad. Exactly. And it, it's divided into two categories. Mm-hmm. And when you look at extremes, people are gonna always get like, oh hell yeah. If you're in the middle, it's like in life. If you're in the middle, like people don't give a shit too much. Um, but not nah, like. Like I said, a nice guy definitely deserves to finish last. If you're lying to a girl and you don't really mean what you say, you're just trying to get in her pants, eventually, and Ellie also talking about it, eventually she's going to find out the truth about you and find out that either you're going to eventually get annoyed of her because you find out like, man, this is not who I really thought she was because you be, a nice guy just looked at her as her looks. He's, he, like, he's actually surface level. Surface level meaning he's just on the outside. An asshole probably, or let's forget the asshole. A guy who's direct sees her as who she really is. Like the few girls that I bagged in my life, I've always, I, I can't, it's hard for me to be fake. And if I was ever fake, then and you got to witness that part of me, shit, my bad. Maybe you brought it out of me, bitch. Yeah. <laughs> I could not be fake with girls. I would tell a girl, one time I told this girl like, oh, like, why you, why do you post stuff like this? Or why do you say like this? You seem different. Is that she, it just came to the conclusion, yo, she, this girl told me, Yo, so why don't you think I'm mean? It's like she wanted me to think she was mean. Like, uh, most guys get, like, they don't, they think I'm mean. They don't want to talk to me. I'm like, I don't see nothing mean about you. Mm. And I didn't even say it as if I'm cocky. I just said, what is there mean about you? She said, like, oh, most guys, they think I'm mean. Like, I'm like, I mean, what, what's, like, what do you, what's mean about you? I, and she definitely was insecure because insecure I didn't acknowledge that she was this bad bitch. Yeah, and she wanted, she wanted you to acknowledge her that she's mean. She's yeah. Like a mean girl. Exactly. She wanted me to be, like, a nice guy to succumb to her. Like, uh-huh. why is this guy not bending to my rules and that's another good thing about not being a nice guy like what they say when you don't bend to her right and i'm not even over here making a podcast about like what to do i'm just saying anyone in life if you don't tell them what they want to hear they're gonna they're gonna actually come back to you it's just the law of nature it's like why is this person not fucking like Mm -hmm. accepting me as higher than them or better than them Mm -hmm. so so she was like why don't you see me like this i'm like what what do you mean but you're just a girl like you, you, you know what I mean I, I can see why guys fall for you I just said that I, I would never really it, it, Maybe she wanted to hear Just say I'm pretty my nigga. Like if she was my girl I would do that But I'm not telling random girls Oh here's a compliment yeah, Cause yeah. I realize in life At a young age They don't respond well to compliments And I realize in, in, in life in general You tell somebody hi You barely get a response You be like yo bitch Or, or, or anybody Not only a girl yeah. Like yo you ever thought about it You go outside one day If you tell somebody hey They might look back you have a nice day. They might say thank you. Yeah. But if you're like asshole, or you you're like yo, I hope you have a worse day. They're gonna actually respond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People by That's nature crazy. respond to yeah. assholeness. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It triggers people. People uh-huh. like wait, wait, wait. wait. Not, yeah. Yes, yo. Right? Yes. Like, it, it gets them wild up. Cause yeah. maybe it could be people are secretly insecure, uh-huh. or maybe people just their life sucks so bad that oh yeah, nice day. Like, I got heard it enough. Yeah. I don't have a nice day ever though. Like, My life sucks. They want some action in their life. Probably you know? yeah. Some I, entertainment. You, you remember Walt? You ever remember riding around with him in the car? What he used to do? What? N- nah. It was fucking wild, bro. But he was in my what, car. What do? When we go to basketball courts or something, we'd be in my car and he'd be like this, have a nice day, asshole, and then I fucking leave. And, and and I saw in that little situation, because I was driving, I was seeing, right? Other than being worried about, damn, he's going to get us fucked up. Like, someone's going to fucking like, chase us down. I was like, when he said, I have a nice day, because he would do the little pause, I wouldn't see no reaction. As soon as he said, asshole, the person would be like this. I'm like, oh, wow. So it's like when people say, when, when people could leave you a thousand comments, oh, you look good, you look good. When someone's like, you're fat, you're like, wait, what the hell, fat? Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> you're like, wait, what? And that's what you said, too. Like, yeah, yep. you and it, the man. worst thing is when a celebrity doesn't comment, they don't respond to your... This is why I love Gary Vee, because Gary Vee says he he's the complete opposite of all this. He said he never responds. And I haven't been on Gary, Gary Vee in a while. Shout out Gary Vaynerchuk, man. What is it? What is it? Wine Media, something like that. He's a boss, bro. He's uh, a, that dude is a hus yeah. fucking lur, bro. <laughs> oh God. He said some shit like, like, cause he's all about social media being on. He said like, I was, he's like, he he reads all his comments for one thing, which I would love to do as my comments grow. So comments, so I have shit to read. But uh, he said like he he reads all the comments because he said and he doesn't respond to no negative ones barely. Cause he's like people do that. A lot of celebrities only respond to negative comments, and then and he said it sucks because their fans are like, "Damn, I said, I said I, I fuck with you, man." Like whatever your rapper is, maybe your rapper is Rick Ross, Juicy yeah. J, whatever Drake. Yo, I fuck with you, and then they don't comment. Someone's like, "Yo, you're ass," and like and then he's like, "Yo, fuck you," or show, or, <laughs> yeah. or, or, or you really feel that? Like, but it, the fact that the 
that the asshole in a sense got a response and the, and you didn't for keeping it real. Yeah. It sucks. Yeah, so yeah. Gary Vee Gary V switches it up. He's all about if someone shows up, he's showing love and he's not even responding. He said he says something like, for someone to 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 spend their day writing a negative comment on YouTube. Just think about he's like he has empathy for them. He's like oh, I heard he's like just think about what they're going through in they're life really that miserable. they felt like man like they're, they're really miserable. miserable. That person is miserable. Energy. Like you're sitting there like I had people tell me when I was on music I've been on YouTube since like 2007 yo, but my music was 2010. I remember putting out music and I didn't have the best quality. Someone said where the fuck you did, you recorded this shit a microwave and I actually laughed. I was like oh shit what the fuck a microwave? Like I didn't automatically think like oh damn I must suck I must I mean I'm still making music it didn't stop me. Yeah. Uh -huh. So I'm like, yo, it doesn't even matter. Like, so like, fuck it. But when I saw that, I was like, I just thought like, damn, why the fuck would this person say this to me? Like, uh -huh. you heard my nah, song. Yo, like, why are you mean, wasting I your mean, time remember, listening to my yeah, song and then true. comment? Mm -hmm. I posted like a gaming video once, mm -hmm. and I'm like a high ass rank, and then some nigga said, oh, you must be bronze, like a lowest rank. You must be what? Uh, bronze? Bronze? So society is just leave, leave it as like they're Good. the top guy. more. Now, it. can I say something else? Yeah. Now, in real life. When someone does something you don't like, it's anyone, hard in real life. that means you have to work it's on different. it. Like, so you triggers. You want to fight back. I know, but like, you, said fight back. you know why you want to fight back, right? Mo not even you. I'm not going to use you using is that most people want to fight back because they feel like, wait, wait, I I'm not. They don't feel complete so in themselves. Yourself. Yo, me, like, bro. I'm not even trying to flex. Somebody said somebody to me. This is, this is my rule. You could say whatever you want about me. But until you, it's, if long as you don't lay your hands on me, yeah. you but touch like, me, then it's not gonna be cool. But you can say, yo, you ugly as hell. I'm like, yo, you don't even know me. Nigga, inside, I don't care. They're uh -huh. saying shit like this, really, something inside is burning. It's, it's bothering me. Yeah, they they're have problems themselves. That's what it is. They're not happy for someone to come at you. They're not happy with themselves. Yeah. What happy, fulfilled person is going at people outside? Who the fuck who has stuff to do in life? Focus is going around like, oh, you ugly, yo, or you disgusting, yo. Like you're not, you don't got nothing going on. So. This is to the haters out there, to the bulliers. Stop that shit. Remember we had to talk about that? Like, they want people. kids to stop, like... They said it helps people. Like, yeah, they're like, like, they're like, oh, you shouldn't yeah. speak bad words. When we're young, we, we do fuck shit. When we're, oh, man, when we were talking about doing fucking wild shit in school, fucking playing pranks on people, stealing putting bikes, putting, gouda cheese fucking putting book glue bag. in people's Imagine. book bags and shit. I'm talking two Elmer's glue, fill up that motherfucker's book bag. Uh -huh. Fuck his whole day up. And to me, it's two nice guys. The nice guy who's telling her what she needs to hear is not cool, but the nice guy who's himself, who's real, is about it. That guy's gonna always win. So it's not no be an asshole. So what I wanna leave you with, if you're young, you're inexperienced, you're not out there yet, right? Just be yourself. And what I mean by that is, genuinely, what do you feel? If you see a girl like, yo, I like her shirt. Fucking comment her shirt. Yo, wasn't there a Drake and Josh episode about what Drake's mom told him, like compliment her shoes? You remember that one? You know why, yeah, right? Yeah. No one will ever like really tell them that something. Yeah, like, look at their face exactly. Or, like, their features. Look, look I, I'm dropping gems without even dropping them. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I'm not. You know, they're like, yeah, damn, yeah, Tish, you got me like five bitches this week, bro. <laughs> I'm not even do. I am not here to get you bitches, bro. I'm here to take your fucking bitches if anything, bro. Yeah. I'm not here to get you bitches, bro. D don't get it messed up, bro. Drake and Jaws, shout out to them. Don't one get it messed shows. up, bro. We're sipping Mooli today. One of the best shows of Drake and Jaws. Extra large supreme pizza with everything. Put, put even the cashier. Yeah. All right, so <clears throat> while Tish comes back, I want to touch up on a topic. Um, it's a topic about you know like um, what time does the jacuzzi close? Food deliveries and you know uh, picking up riders. You know. Okay, all right, thank you. So I, so I personally feel like you know like like these platforms like you know Uber, Lyft, Grubhub, DoorDash, whatever. They're not getting as you know um, paid like a fairly paid you know the the way that you know uh, they should be paid you know yeah. they're, they're getting paid like very minimum you know like okay I'm gonna use some examples like like for Uber Eats you have like two three dollar orders for like and you'll be just you know driving around for like eight nine miles and I think you know that uh, that's not fair you know like. You're wasting, you yeah, know, like a, a lot of time and gas. Like time exactly. And, like, Wait, you should give me paid more. Yeah, than waste all. time and gas out of your day yeah. for what? Two to three bucks? Yeah, I don't think that's. Yeah, it's like yeah. some of the orders just be like up, no. some be high, some Yeah, the be company low. needs to change. Yeah, it's that. like sometimes the companies like are they like doing something? Mm -hmm. to, like play with the prices. And like you know, for the platform uh, 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 <clears throat> of Lyft, you know, you know, like you would get some rides. You know, it's it's like what, like four or five bucks, you know, for a ride. And I, you know, I, <clears throat> overall in general, like with all these platforms, I think you know the per, you know the drivers should be getting paid, you know, uh, a little more than uh, the, than what they're paying, you know, uh, at this current point uh, in time. So any 
job that, that you're, you're using your car and you're right. getting paid by someone else, like some Grubhub, Lyft, Uber, right. and then jobs like Uber Eats, DoorDash, fucking there's so many. First of all, I want to say this. Fuck Grubhub, fuck DoorDash, fuck Lyft, and fuck Uber too. I never did Uber, but fuck all y'all. I say fuck them because they have one of the worst customer services. These companies have one of the worst customer services I've ever dealt with. For one, some of them don't even have a fucking way to directly contact them. Freaking grab up, yo! You filling you filling out the declaration of fucking Wait, independence just to get a fucking message to them. Grubhub? What's your number? Yeah, What's the Grubhub number you signed up with? Door- What's your email? Yo. What's your yeah. social? Uh-huh. Just a fucking actual question. DoorDash isn't like you just call them and they pick up. But after well, that's a while, good. Maybe not, but it is fucked up. You have to do that like. To even, like, it, to me, it should be a direct number. Yo, like, what's up? I'm having some trouble. Or like a live chat or something. Exactly. Like, Lyft is the worst. Right away. It should be like I don't know how Lyft is right now, but when I used to do Lyft, yo, it was so fucking hard like to get in touch with somebody. Going, yeah. And when you get in touch with somebody, yo, one thing about these companies is they're always gonna put the person that's putting money in their pockets first. And it seems like a good business thing to do. It's that's not. Like, the, they don't see the person that how many rides that good ratings they have. They don't even look at that. They'll give you all oh, you. You did a all oh, the. I think what did I do like a th- uh, 10,000 or was it a 1,000 ja- they gave me a jacket and they gave me like this keychain or some shit oh yo thanks for completing 10,000 rides here's yo, your little keychain oh yo. shit nice guys look at me are you fucking serious they, they be giving them the rewards be wild yo it, 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 it doesn't match up the hustle you put in yeah. doesn't match up to the return you get and I know they're business people they, they think of business bro, oh, the reward. we thinking of that too and yeah. I urge you if you do these jobs well, for one, come at them. Sue the fuck out them, by the way. Sue as many... Co- I said this in the beginning of the year. Sue as many companies as you can. Stop working hard for your money, straight up. I had a whole fucking self-talk. You know, I got a lot of backlash for it. And I got a lot of people agreed with me. Uh-huh. I said, stop working hard. Uh, oh, I said, sure, fuck, even, yo, even fuck like, working yo. hard. And then, But I had like a clickbait shit. But then I, I explained yo, it in the yeah, video. Yeah, even, I remember... Oh, this is probably a tough look. This guy, you know who Kai Sen is, right? Twitch streamer? Mm. He's like some streamer that was working really hard. Yeah. And they got like, he's like the high streamer. They just, I think they just gave him shoes. But I think that's not that bad, but shoes? I think it was, what did you want something more? What? They just gave him like shoes, Twitch shoes. Twitch gave him shoes? Yeah, just shoes. After, after what? After being like the high streamer of the. He's Twitch, the highest like the num- streamer yeah, that gave him the shoes? One. Yeah. I think he deserves more. Yo, that. first of all, shout, like, look, look, we're not, we're some grateful people here. I know I am. At least you got something, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm thankful good, when someone good, gives me something because yeah. what if they didn't give you? Yeah, what if they give you a that message? Is true, being yeah. number well, one, thanks for being one of the for, highest. For being yeah, like yeah. a top stream, I feel like you should definitely you know more than so that. Th- this is why we should get more. And no matter where you're at, no matter what field, what company, whatever you work for, whatever you do, we're bringing this company traffic. Yeah. yeah, we're bring, when I give a pleasant experience, which I've always done. My lift man, I was like a DJ. I, I had people, I had people leaving with an experience. They didn't just get in my car for the majority of the time if I, you know, if I didn't have an off day, and 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 and, I'm, and then that means they're gonna kick lift again because they felt good with my lift. They're like, oh, you know, I fuck with lift. I had so many people tell me, and it was not only because of me. They're like, yo, I don't fuck with Uber. Uber is very untrustworthy. This that. I'm like, oh shit, mm-hmm. okay. And then they're like, and then after my experience, they're like, you know, this was a great lift. I had a lot of first time lifters. You know, it usually says first time riding with uh-huh. lift, uh, be kind and courteous, right? Whatever. And, and I noticed um, a lot of them would always tell me, most of them, at the end of the ride, they would be like, yo, this was a very good experience. They'll leave me positive feedback. I was like, yo, is Lyft seeing all this positive feedback I'm getting? Mm-hmm. And, then, and then I'll have trouble with a ride or something. Someone fucking one time threw up in my car. They, they spilled oh. shit. And Lyft, I'm hitting them up. And oh, send us proof. Send us pictures. We'll take a look at We're going to start an investigation. You're going to start a fucking investigation? I just sent you a picture. Really? But, but check this out. And, and my man is going to talk about this here. Shout out to Cream. For this, because he's dealt with it, so we're gonna let him take over for this part. But, but, but when it comes to the the customer, right? Like the rider, not the not the driver. Mm-hmm. When the rider says one thing, they they're turning your account off. They're like, oh, oh, they said so and so. Oh, you can't. Nah, you can't. You can't drive no more. We're gonna have to. They don't. They don't. They, not only do they investigate for them, right? They actually take immediate action. But when we say something, it's no immediate action. Yeah, that's not right. I'm, I'm Not only these companies, I'm getting tired of customer service not really being customer service. It's ass. Company, why is it that, and I tweeted and, I, and I, I spoke about this, why is it that as a common people, I call us the regular people, common folks, whatever, us, anyone in general that deals with businesses, when we fuck up, we're penalized. Mm-hmm. As a common person, as a customer, as they call consumer, mm-hmm. we're penalized. But when the company fucks up, give us three to five business days. You will return your money. We're figuring things out. You're, they're so vague. 
But when we fuck up, oh, late fee, this, that, oh, you got, we're terminating you, uh-huh. taking your shit. It's like, that, 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 that shit doesn't add up, yo. Uh-huh. It doesn't add up. And I feel like people in the past never had time to question these things. They were on the hustle, the rat race. They didn't have time to, man, I'm a king of fucking, you give me a ticket or anything, yo, I'm taking it to the, I'm on my lawyer shit. I never, I didn't go to law school or something, but I'm like, nah, hell no. I'm, I'm fucking writing up shit. I'm yeah, thinking man. of the word, the way to fucking really come at you. You ain't finna one up me. But now let them know, bro, about how fucking these companies did you wrong. <clears throat> and what company was it? So I've been driving, uh, you know, uh, for Lyft for like about two years now. And you know, like, uh, uh, rookie. So, 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 yeah, whatever. So, rookie so, years. So, so some, you know, like, uh, a while back, you know, I was eventually kicked off a of lift because um in the past you know I I I, I was uh you know I, I was reported uh, it, you know um the uh, the riders reported me you know to lift saying that you know I, I was I was driving drunk and it happened more than you know more than one time it happened a few times Hey I got to stop you for a minute this man doesn't even touch alcohol you heard me ask him and if you for the few episodes you've seen I'll ask him do you want to take a shot you don't ask a person who doesn't drink you want to take a shot. You just pour them a fucking shot. You don't ask me, yo, Tish, you want to take a shot? Motherfucker, put that shit in my cup. Now, for those people who know me. You don't drink. Yeah. Okay, they know that I He half not, follows his religion in, in that part. Yo, the, the, I do Boy, not tell drink. him. Boy, say it. said it last for yeah. <laughs> Go. But yeah. For those people who know me, you know, yeah, they know that I do not drink. You know, I only drink on, like, you know, special events, you know, with friends and stuff like that. Other than that, I do not drink at all, you know, uh, or smoke like that. But anyway, um, <clears throat> so yeah, uh, I, you know, I, I got reported, you know, for like the, the you know, for like the, the, the fourth time, you know, for, for, you know, uh, fourth time, you know, for being, I would have uh, just drank at that point. Yeah. For being accused of drinking, uh, uh you know, uh, while driving and you know, that, that obviously is not true. Know. I would never do that. You know, I don't even drink in general, but, um, you know, lifts will always go, uh, you know, uh, they will always be on the customer side, you know, and, yeah. and, and you know, and, and not the driver's side. And, and but, didn't I tell you that? But anyway, yeah, so I, you know, I, I explain my story over and over again, you know, to live saying that, you know, these riders, they're just out here looking for trouble. They're beat. They just want to start something. And, you know, um, you got, uh, you know, Lyft should actually, you know, uh, take a look at, you know, some of these riders because, you know, they're just, they're ridiculous. They're out of line. You know, the, some of these riders, they, they're the ones that need, that, uh, need to be reported. Cause I don't know like what's going on with these people. Uh, some people in this world, you know, they just they're just out here, you know, they they just want to start trouble. So you know, eventually, oh, you know, start trouble. So, so I received a message, you know, from Liv saying, you know, now we, we have your account blocked, and you know, whatever you tell us, you know, um, you know, we cannot, we're not gonna unblock your account this time. Your account was blocked for Wait, good. Was so you still blocked? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Bad. I, I believe I am. That means they get blacked. They want like. And they're oh. like, you know, th- there's something on your motor vehicle record, you know, that that uh, you know, um, you need to get it fixed. <clears throat> and basically, that you know, that's that's my recent situation with Lyft. So you have a guy here, and I'm sure he's he's one of many, right? Because you, if you've been into the Lyft hub, you ever you been into the Lyft hub? When I went to them, there 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 was always an issue. They were like closed down. Yeah, if you've been to the Lyft hub. But yeah, I know how the Lyft hubs are. Okay. They're like, you know, you go in there. It's like the DMV. It, exactly. It's like, you know, poor customer service. Everything is slow. You, you know, um, you, you, you're there for like an hour, two hours. Mm-hmm. You know, it, it's just a long process. You know, when you go to like, the, you know, the actual, like the physical Lyft hubs. Yeah, yeah, these companies, man, and and I say live. Is it not headquarters? They were, well, no, not the headquarters. It's just, it's a hub. It's like where, where you go. New York. No hub. It's a, it's literally in every state mostly. Oh. And uh, I don't know if the Jersey one exists. I think it does. It's a hub where you go. When I when I went there because I was doing Lyft uh, Rental Express. It's like yeah. the rental of the car. It's a bullshit. It helped me for the time being. I'm always grateful. I always look at the at the side like you know what they did help me get a car when I couldn't get one. But when I did the math, oh my god, it didn't add oh, up. Yeah. It's slavery. These jobs are fucking slavery. That's what they are. You know how people say this is modern day slavery. We're not shackled up these days. But we're, we're, we're being enslaved on other ways. Mm. That's, I don't know how you, like, that's why it comes back to you. People got to get fucking mad. If enough people get mad, they're going to have to change something. Yeah. And I'm always, this and I'm going to say this straight up, and I and I, like, I, I, I make self-talks about this. I said, yo, I don't wish people well. Yo, I be praying to God that these companies fucking collapse. Mm-hmm. 
that's my prayers. I'm not on some God bless everybody. I hope it yeah. works. You know, my in my language or whatever. You know, get it on the floor. I'm like, yo, I pray that these motherfucking. If you do me wrong, I hope even worse for you. Even worse. And these fucking companies is yeah, now at this point they got me pissed. Right, and, and yeah. he's dealing with it as a new. I call him a newbie because two years in, already dealing with it. And I, I've done, I've done this since 2016, right? 17, 18. I, I believe in like five something years, right? Probably a little more. I, I would consider myself like a veteran in it, right? Because this, these kind of jobs, you don't do them that long, right? But, I, and when the, the few times I've done it, other than having wild experiences, that'll be for another podcast. We could talk about the wild, fucking crazy shit. Lyft never made me feel safe, and I even told him this. Like anytime there was an issue. They didn't make me feel like they had my back when I even got it, after I even after the struggle of getting in touch with them. Like that was already the hard part. Now, but when I got in touch with them, robotic responses. Most of these companies, yo. So we looked at the guidelines. Here's the article. This that we're gonna take a look at your shit. Is this shit like come on? G- 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 fucking answer my question, resolve it, and let's get it moving. Stop the fuck. Why do? Why am I waiting? Why am I waiting? You know what I mean? You know I need to get money. Let me get money. That's it. I, it might, you're banning people's accounts for supposedly drinking when they don't drink. And I know it's like you can't, they can't really know or not know. But why is it they're so immediate to listen to the rider? Why is it that the person that gets in his car, yeah. of course they're making the money. I know without the rider, there's no money. But without the driver, if there's no drivers, how are the riders going to get picked up? So if you guys keep fucking up, the, there, will, there will be less and less drivers. And this should be spread amongst the community. If you've been having a bad experience with these companies, put it out there. <laughs> think about the podcast today yo it was good it, it was very uh, energetic what's on your mind i think we're expanding our topics you know um we're talking more about more and more about you know uh things people want to hear and stuff like that right from where as where we start off in jersey you know we, we were like in a testing phase and stuff like that true that true so now it looks like you know we're getting it going hell yeah bro you see it there tonight the first episode's dropping yo so uh what i think these are not fucking people who don't know and that's all.